Thanks, Craig. Um, uh, as the legal observer in the, in the hearings, I have been astonished at the kind of rubbish that we get, including being told that I could take in pen and paper, but I'm not allowed to write. I mean, it, it, is, it is just astonishing. So, but, but I'm, I'm so glad that Craig talked about, brought everything together and explained how our campaign for Julian it's not just about him, it's also a campaign for justice for the men whose art you see around the room. And our next speaker, um, Ian Overton, who, who, who's CTC there, unfortunately due to being ill, uh, really wanted to be here, but he's, he's not been able to travel, he will come to our next event. But we have him in his place, uh, and in fact in his own place actually, um, a wonderful young man who spent 14 years at Guantanamo, without trial or charge, and this is his voice. I hope you can hear him, he, is, he doesn't yet have his passport in his hand, although he's finally been granted one. An innocent man finally been granted a passport. Uh, but hopefully he will have it soon, and he will hopefully be with us for the exhibition in the summer to tell you a little bit more about his art and the art from his colleagues. I also wanted to highlight our friends from CAGE who are here today. Um, we are grateful for their solidarity. This is 21 years since Guantanamo was opened. 35 men are still there. Um, some, many of them cleared for release. And it is astonishing that many people don't even know that Guantanamo is still open. So here is Mansoor Adaifi's voice. I'm going to test the sound uh, with our live stream audience. So first I, I'll check uh, if that works and then you can hear it. Sorry, that's not seeming to uh, to play. I, I will I will translate Mansur's message. Mansur's message is one of solidarity and um, and a great deal of I think forgiveness and a sense of horror at what continues to happen at Guantanamo. He, he and his fellow colleagues, many of whom are struggling financially, uh, would be grateful for your solidarity over time. There is, uh, I, I will share on the Eventbrite site and also with those who are interested, details of the art from Guantanamo if anybody wishes to buy pieces from any of the artists. 